Well, welcome to iPodRepairSquad.com. This is our Nano Gen 2 assembly guide. As you can see, we already have the new Nano Gen 2 completely disassembled. And so we're just going to start reassembling it. Uh, what we're going to start with is the LCD screen. And we are going to place it into this connector right here. There is a black latch right there that will be flipped down after we insert the cable. So the cable is kind of delicate. You do just want to slide it in there. And once it's in there all the way, you can go ahead and put that down and just flip this black latch up like so. And make sure it's all the way down, you got a good connection. At that point you can flip your screen up and go and lift this up. Let's make sure you get that down, get that screen down in there all the way. Don't apply too much pressure though or you'll you'll crack it. And that could be an expensive mistake. So now we want to insert it into the case. To do that, you just want to and you want to make sure you don't get stuck on the click wheel, which can be fairly easy to do. And you also don't want the LCD cable to get stuck either. So you might have to you might have to get in there with the long tool and make sure that it's not going to catch on anything when you're trying to slide it down. there you can feel it going in and it just slides right on in. And once you have that in, you can go and put this protector back in place at the top. And that's going to be your hold switch and such. Okay, so now we have the logic board in place and the next step is going to be to connect the headphone plug to the back to the logic board. Now inside here you can't really see what you're doing but when you have it lined up correctly it'll snap into place pretty easily. And on the end of this orange cable there's a plug and the plug needs to go into the connector on the logic board. So the easiest way we found to do that is to use your flat tool and to come on top of this cable like so and slide in there and just give it a push down and you'll feel it snap into place. Again, if you have any other questions, you can see a more detailed version of this in PDF format at iPodRepairSquad.com. Just look for our free iPod Repair Guides link on the left. And at this point, you're going to want to take the metal connector and slide it back in before you go ahead and push the headphone plug back in and it just slides in like that and right here is where you would insert a screw it's one of the hidden screws right down there for the sake of time we're skipping that step because it's a fairly self-explanatory step um, and this headphone plug now has to be pushed back down in there and as you can see the orange ribbon is kind of crinkled. That's because it doubles on top of itself when it goes back in there. So the easiest way I found to get it to go back in there is to use your flat tool and to come here on top of your flat tool or on top of the cable and line it up and then get it get it get it going and then it just kind of pushes and snaps into place like you just saw there and now you should just be able to get it to kind of slide down in there like so just apply a little pressure and you might just have to wiggle that cord up just a little bit be very careful with it because it's very delicate and if any of it breaks well you're out of a headphone jack and a click wheel so now it's in there and let me just go ahead and show you this is where you would insert two more screws. You would put one right here and you would put another one right here. Okay? And then after that what you would do is go ahead and insert the bottom bezel. 
on the other side, the top, this piece just snaps into place there and you would insert a screw right there and a screw right there and you would go ahead and insert the top bezel and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. They have some adhesive on them so all you do is just kind of get them down in there and as you can see they they go in a lot easier than they come out and let's go ahead and do the bottom one too now and this one just goes in like so just make sure you get it pushed down nice and tight and uh, you may want to apply more adhesive to those to get them to stay in there good and there you have it 100% reassembled and if you have any questions you can always contact us at 1-888-IPODFIX or email us at customer service at ipodrepairsquad.com we're happy to help with any of your questions any of your uh, troubles that you're having with your iPod thanks